There is nowhere like Manjushri Kadampa Meditation Center in the whole world. It is a truly extraordinary place. Venerable Geshe-la came to live here in 1977, and he lived here, prayed here, meditated here. He taught here and created this tradition here over a period of more than 30 years. It's so blessed. I am speaking from the North Wing Meditation Room. It was here in this blessed room that Venerable geshe taught every day, sometimes even twice a day, for so many years. It is such a special meditation room. Manjusri Kadampa Meditation Center is really Venerable geshe home. It is the very heart center of this tradition. It is the mother center of the new Kadampa tradition. From here, and while living here, Venerable geshe created the three special study programs that are the hallmark of this tradition. He created and published our Kadampa books, and he has created everything for modern Buddhism to flourish in this world. Thousands and thousands of people come here every year. Some come just for a few short hours, walking in the woodlands, sipping cups of tea, and going to visit the temple. Others come for a few days for special courses on meditation and Buddha's teachings in the modern world. Some people come for a few weeks because they want to join in and feel what it feels like to be part of a bodhisattva community living in the service of others. Some people come for a few years to study a book, to learn how to become a qualified Kadampa teacher themselves or a qualified manager. Other people, they come and they stay their whole life. Here at Manjusri Center, Venerable Geshe had the idea to build the first Kadampa temple for world peace. I actually remember going round the grounds with him. And he said, I'd like to build a temple here. And he pointed to the ground. Then in a few short years, through his work and his um, exquisite imagination, the most beautiful temple was built. It has many architectural features representing the Kadampa path of Lamrim, of Sutra and Tantra. perfect temple for the people of this modern world. It is for us a representation of Buddha's pure land, Jason Kappa's pure land of Tushita and Haruka's pure land, Kiyajra. Every day sincere prayers are made in this holy and blessed temple and Venerable geshe promises that one day when our mind becomes completely pure we will see Haruka's pure land in this place. In the same way as Bodh Gaya is a special holy place of pilgrimage for people around the world, for the practitioners of modern Buddhism, it feels to me like Manjusri Kadampa Meditation Center is our Bodh Gaya. It's the home of the International Kadampa Festivals in the spring 
and in the summer. People gather here from all over the world to receive directly Venerable Geshe-la's special blessings from his home and from his heart. From Venerable Geshe-la's heart has also appeared a most extraordinary program called International Teacher Training Program. This also occurs here at his spiritual home at Manjusri Center. Every year, the resident teachers from all the Kadampa Buddhist centers all over the world gather here together for five or six weeks at Manjusri Center. They study together, pray together, and improve their qualifications to become more and more qualified as resident teachers within this tradition. Venerable Geshe-la established here at Manjusri an art studio. It is called the Kadampa Art Studio. And day and night, the most beautiful images of Buddha, huge statues, eight-foot statues of Buddha, five-foot statues of Tara and Avalokiteshvara, and many other beautiful Buddha statues are being created here, day and night, every day of the week. And these statues are then going to temples and city commercial spaces and Kadampa meditation centers all over the world. At Manjusri Kadampa Meditation Center, Venerable Geshe-la established Tarpa Publications, which has now grown into a, a worldwide international network for the flourishing of Kadam Dharma through our precious Kadampa Dharma books. I'd like to encourage you, please don't just take my word for it. You please come and feel the open-hearted welcome that awaits you at Manjusri Center. Come and feel the peace that pervades everywhere here because Venerable Geshe-la has established Buddha's Pure Land in this place. <laughs>